the number 74, which I'm now at. I remember when 74 was holy mackerel. Did somebody actually get that old? And I can't treat the present as if I had the eyes I had 20 years ago. 20 years ago and earlier, I had... Um, human motives that I was struggling with. And now they've calmed down. They're still around, but they're calm. I went in, the, in my past, I went, I was identified with my motives. I was identified with sexual desire. I was identified with power desire. I was identified with sensual desire. But now they're, they're, they're little schmooze. They're little, the difference is I identify with my awareness and I don't uh, dare to fly with my desires I have them but they aren't me meeting Maharaji I saw what is possible for us. And he was so inwardly placed in his identification. <clears throat> or in placed in everything. <clears throat> Here was an individual who doesn't have fear. No identification with separateness and that's what causes fear he didn't think he was Maharaji <laughs> He just went along through life. People treated him 
this way and that way. That's sort of the way it is for me these days. My my guru <clears throat> gave me some money <clears throat> through Wayne Dyer. And the people that the people that sent the money, they sent so so many loving notes. They'd say. You hugged me in St. Louis, or your book led me to spiritual stuff. And Wayne's letter had. Um, had loosened the floodgates of love that that I had I had seeded seeded but It gave me a feeling that I was an indigent, and that feeling was weird because I was always feeling I, I was I was a rich person. A rich person, and I fashioned myself to look like and feel like a rich person. I get in clubs that were, clubs that were rich persons of clubs. I'd hang around with rich people. It was my, that was my father, he is, is all his life done. He hung around with rich and important people. And I thought that was, the way it was done. But this letter of Wayne's affected me quite a bit different than other people because I was feeling I was an indigent. I was to be pitied. I was not looking like a rich person. That was that that 
that period of time when I was, when Wayne very lovingly gave his letter. Right after that, I felt, I felt indigent. Not, I was looking, I still, uh, I'm surrounded by luxury. My pool, from, from I swim in, this room, sixty people get inside, and we all we all sing. So that, that was a feeling that I cr created about wealth and, and indigence. And I saw how deep in my need to associate with rich and powerful people were, was. So now I've got all this money from Wen's letter. It's funny. To, to have been injured, indigent a while ago, and now having every, have more money than I, I ever dreamed. I don't dream about money. <laughs> That's just an expression. <laughs> The letter characterized me in a way that is honest. And the characterization affected me with, oh my God, everybody's going to know I'm I'm not as rich as I portrayed. I thought of all my rich friends who get the letter. Then I started to, why is this unco uncomfort in me more than anybody else? There was a, that, needing to be around or being to be portrayed as a rich person that was what was my security
And now that I'm indigent, nothing to be afraid of. And all this love coming in. These checks are coming with so much love. So I don't know, I think it's better to be loved. Loved. Better to be loved than than a rich person. 